Today we're going to be taking a look at the much recommended Sand Shark Sand Anchor. I got this off of Amazon for $79.99 and we're going to take it out on the water and see if some of the complaints that people have are true. So we've just arrived at Fort DeSoto Park and as you can see we have a strong current coming across here as the storms are coming in. So I get out my Sand Shark rope here and we're going to get her tied up. Now this thing doesn't come with a case so I decided to put this in a Publix bag and that turned out to be a bad idea. Now as you can see here I was a little bit confused on which parts need to go where but then eventually figure out that it doesn't matter as long as the handles on top and the spirally thingamadig is on the bottom. So first I save the ocean and then I, oh, and then she closes the container while I go ahead and get us anchored in here. So at first I thought I could just wrap it around here, but then I realized that wasn't going to be stable enough. So I do the classic wrap around roux here, and then we're back in business. So it turns out that the wrap around roux was not a good idea. This is the tie that they show on the Amazon pictures. As you're twisting the sand anchor, the rope gets caught and twists with it, causing it to wind up. And you can alleviate this by using the first variant that I tried. Alright, so we're all anchored in here and the storms are coming in hot and so I want to make sure at this point that the direction that the ski is being pulled is not going to pull it towards the beach. So we left it anchored here for a couple hours just taking an absolute beating and you know what? It held up like a fucking champ. If it can be left standing straight up after taking a beating like this then I feel comfortable taking this in any situation. Now that it's time to pack up, this is where the negatives come in. You remember how compact and nicely it fit in your storage container? Yeah, you could kiss that goodbye. It's already hard enough to unsnap these things when they're brand new, but when a little bit of salt and sand gets inside there, it becomes impossible to get these things apart without hand tools. Which is why on Amazon it's pictured this way, because they probably couldn't get these things apart either. And there are some questions out there about the plastic and how long this thing will last. And as you can see here, this is the damage that was done after just one time use. But I still don't think that it's going to be anything significant enough to not last how long you're going to actually keep your jet ski. And in my opinion, these cons are pretty small in comparison of some of these other options that we have out there, which are going to end up taking up more room in your storage container anyway. 